here today guys we woke up a little bit late we did our morning routine which was meant to start at 6 but it ended up starting at 7.30 so the goal was not to get to the gym for 9am it's 9.20 and it's busy as fuck and I hate busy gyms so I feel uncomfortable to film but you know what I couldn't give a fuck me and Max we're used to this shit so we're in here today filming some pull this is my full usual pull split we're starting off on pull ups three sets of max reps um, it's going to be a fast hard heavy session um, and then later on today we're going to do another workout for conditioning so yeah this is the pull day remember guys at the moment i am doing push pull legs that's how i build my physique that's how i maintain my physique as well really wide one set just average width grip and then one set close grip three max sets of pull-ups it's fucking hard so I already feel pretty fucking taxed after the second set but hey ho let's go Okay, first exercise done, three sets of pull-ups. Moving on to T-bar row, we've got three sets. 12 reps, 10, eight. Increasing the weight up as we go along. Hi, are you okay? Yeah. Yeah? Are you want to see? All right. <laughs> yeah, guys. It's usually just one warm-up set and then straight into it. I've been doing this shit for fucking 10 plus years, so the, the less I can stay in the gym, especially for bodybuilding, because for me, the bodybuilding style training is pretty boring, consider, considering I've been doing it all my life. I love the high intensity hit, cardio, crossfit, conditioning workouts, so this is just all about fucking Building that physique, maintaining that shape, being strong, keeping strong. These are the building blocks, these types of workouts, and these are the foundations to um, everything. It's why I always say you can never be too fucking strong. You can be too big, without a doubt, but you can never be too strong. So remember that.
Yeah, guys, um, I am trying to bring up certain body parts that I want to make sure that I'm aesthetically equal proportionately uh, from a bodybuilding standpoint. I'm not bothered about being absolutely fucking jacked because I don't want to. I won't move the same, but I can definitely work on certain body parts and bring them up. Like, for example, my rear delts, my traps, my upper chest, my calves, my hamstrings, which will not really be a detriment to my performance at all, really. So, like twice a week, I'm making sure that I'm working on those weaker areas. So, aesthetically, I am overall more proportional, essentially. So yeah, that's how, my, that's how I'm programming my routine at the moment, essentially, yeah. Also as well, I like to use machines that are basically not fixed. So single arm um, machines where you can use alternate arms just because my right arm, my right arm, my right arm is a lot weaker than my left in a lot of different ways because I injured it. So using ISO machines, uh, for me, a way more beneficial because if I used a fixed machine where both arms are essentially working at the same time, it's just not going to benefit for me in the standpoint of balancing the strength and imbalances out. So using single arm movements is always included in my workouts. I'm a prompt predominantly um, for especially like back days essentially because I hurt my bicep many years ago. We have literally got an abundance of gyms in Bali. It's crazy, like, the amount of gyms that you have available in a short area is absolutely ridiculous. Like, I prefer to train in Bali because the equipment's great, but you can also go outside and then you can go in the sauna. You can go in the steam room, you can hit the ice bath, you can chill by the pool, you can get some good food. It's more of a relaxed environment where I would say like Dubai, which is phenomenal for training. Like the gyms are great, but there's no chill. Like you can't relax, you can't sit down and fucking have a nice relaxing conversation usually with the gyms because it's just not that vibe. So, yeah, if you come to Bali, you have endless amounts of different types of gyms with great equipment and also amazing outside facilities to fucking chill out and zen out after the workout and just bring that central nervous system down a little bit. So, yeah, moving on, um, we're going to do some biceps um, and some delts.
we were going to hit the rear delts first, but it's busy as fuck, so we're going to do the pre curl, which I love. I really I like this machine. Um, same again, three sets. Um, reps 15, 12, 10. Simple as that. Last set as well, I'll do a drop set. And you know what one of the biggest problems is, is when you're training in Bali, it's I guess very, very good looking females. When I want to train, I want to fucking train and not have any fucking distractions from anything, you know what I mean? But like, there's so many good looking people around the gyms, it's just, it's too much guys, it's too much. Like back where I live at home, it's just full of huge, sweaty, gorilla, hairy men, sweaty farts walking around the gym. Here, it's just full of pretty boys and pretty girls. Just, yeah, it's, it's a distraction, guys, so just be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out. Watch out. training fasted today um, I do prefer to train on a lighter stomach if not fasted um, is that the most optimal for a bodybuilding workout I wouldn't say so no but I had some pre-workout I had a coffee jumped in the ice bath that's the serious fucking start to the day so I think I'm all good guys um, and immediately after this I'll get some protein into my bloodstream. So yeah this is the seconds to last exercise, we pretty much fucking race through this in 40 minutes which is so good because I don't want to be in the gym for fucking two hours getting training fucking bodybuilding guys. 40 to an hour is, is perfect for me. Um, in terms of this next exercise, we're doing some rear flies for those rear delts, um, which is one of the areas I need to be working on. Sometimes I may do five or six sets instead of three, just to bring them up, and I'll hit them twice a week as well. So. Each other, and there's no like hi, there's no smiles, 
everyone's just like, I don't know, it's just, it's a different form of training at the end of the day. In usually bodybuilding gyms, the training for predominantly purely aesthetics. So what comes with that, I'm trying to judge here, but it comes with people who are just more bothered about the exterior rather than being athletically fit and being functional. Even though I'm doing fucking bicep kills right now, that's for purely aesthetics. A lot of these gyms, the vibes are just not the same as what I would see and feel in CrossFit gyms. That's just my point of view and point of reference. If you guys think in the comments, let me know. Right guys, this is breakfast time. This is how I lost eight kilos in two weeks. But it's a standardized breakfast for me. It's what I love to eat, it makes me feel good. Plenty of protein. It's high fats, lowish carbs. Um, so I'll walk you through now the spread of what I'm gonna be eating. So we've got here, we got a dragon fruit. I love dragon fruit at the moment. We got eggs, Greek yogurt, we got butter, we got steak, we got frozen berries, we got some fresh sourdough bread. We'll walk you through how I would cook it. So usually what I would do is heat the pan up, get the pan going. One for the eggs, and one for the steak. I used the butter for the eggs. I don't need any butter for the steak, to be honest. This is gonna be the egg pan. I'm just gonna lightly butter the pan, like so. I'm gonna use four whole eggs, and all I do, pretty much, is just, essentially, wait till the pan heats up, crack them in, let them cook, and then flip them over. In the meantime, we got the steak here. It's a strip loin. It's a strip loin steak, which isn't horrendously fatty. But it's got a little bit of fat okay. in it. I like to have one piece of sourdough, a pretty large piece of sourdough. I'll cook that in the pan as well. I'll get a small bowl for the yogurt. I'll do a few tablespoons of yogurt. Frozen berries on top. So pan's very, very hot. Let's give this bad boy steak on that. One, two, three, four. I'm just gonna let it cook like that. I'm gonna turn the heat down slightly. And I'm just gonna let it cook slowly. Especially after training, I eat a lot of salt, guys. Hell of a lot of salt. It's ridiculous how much salt I actually have in food. This stuff here, wow. It's peanut butter with vanilla whey protein in it. Eggs, like this. Easy, just flip them. Done. I will just turn the heat off now and let them cook slowly, just a little bit more so they're runny. Got this peanut butter stuff, bang that in the microwave. We've got some pink Himalayan salt as well, why not mix it up. A little tiny bit of pepper and that's the eggs done here, easy. Simple. Look at that. I'm gonna put probably a little bit of this on as well. A tiny little bit of hot sauce. A little tiny. Reese actually said the other day, this is not a lie, that the best eggs he's ever had were made by me. 
the other day. I've got plenty of experience, guys, in making eggs. Making them every single fucking day as a, as a young bodybuilder. So yeah, pretty happy about that. I'm gonna flip the steak. I like it very crispy. At the, moment, at the moment, I am loving, loving dragon fruit. It's amazing. It's so delicious. Look at that. This type of food, guys, is optimal. Eggs, yogurt, fruit, red meat, butter, peanut butter, like it's it's gonna get you in serious shape. Why is that going to run? Okay, bread's done. Put the bread next to the eggs. Go that way. Oh my god, that was delicious. Wow. Got a steak. How is this going to be cooked? I'd say it's going to be cooked. Probably medium rare, I would say. Let's cut it up. You meant to wait for a couple of minutes, but I can't care less. I'm just going to get straight stuck in to this bad boy. Like I like the fattier cuts of meat, guys. I always go with the fattier cuts of meat. One, they taste way better, but two, Fat, full of fucking nutrients, energy. Great, so that is there. We'll also finish off this with another sprinkle of some sea salt. Mm. This is by far my favorite breakfast. It's got it all. Fresh sourdough bread with butter and salt. And then you got your steak. Eggs. This is just primal. When you learn how to eat properly, your body will change. It really will. There's a big difference between eating a sirloin steak than a fucking hot dog sausage. Do you know what I mean? There's a fucking big difference. I don't track calories. I don't need to track calories. I have a rough idea. But how I eat, guys, is based on years over a decade of knowledge on test and try and different foods for my body yeah so that's that's what I'm eating at the moment for getting jacked getting lean this is optimal guys like the foods in here that I'm eating are fucking full of nutrients packed full of protein that are gonna fucking fuel your body with what it needs to function at a high level. That's what it's all about. Eat like a fucking caveman.